Hey, welcome to another snack time video. My name is Ben, and I will be your guide today as we explore Trillium Notes. Trillium Notes is an open source, self-hosted note-taking application. While that may not sound super exciting, if you ever needed your own personal knowledge base, Trillium Notes just may be the application for you. Let's go ahead and take a look at what it has to offer you and then we'll cover installing it on our own server. We will be using a Linux server hosted on the cloud, running Portainer, Docker, and Nginx Proxy Manager. If you had never set up one of these before, check out this video up here, which will guide you through the process of setting up your own Linux server. Let's go ahead and jump into the software. When you first install Trillium Notes, you're going to be given this sample page of a little bit of everything that it can do. And I'm talking, it can do a lot. One of the things that I use constantly, especially when I'm doing programming, any sort of scripting, is the syntax formatting. For example, if I'm working on, say, a PowerScript that's going to predict the future. I can come in here, change the basic properties and note type, and make this PowerShell. But if I don't see the programming language that I need here, check it out. I'm going to jump into options over here. I'm going to select code notes and look at all the different programming languages they can offer you. PowerShell being one of them. I select it, I drop back to my notes, and here we go. I'm going to find PowerShell. I'm going to paste my code. And it's formatted it in a way, it's color coded, very easy for me to read. But maybe you're not a programmer. No, well, that's okay. You don't have to be. Use this to keep a diary of everything that happened to you on a certain day. You could use the canvas note type to create diagrams, maybe network diagrams, maybe just want to draw. It's very customizable to whatever kind of notes that you are feeling comfortable with. This is just the tip of the iceberg, really. You have to check this out. Mermaid diagrams, maybe I want a flow chart. Feeling a little boring, like flowcharts? Hey, that's okay. Gantt, we could create a mind map, and we could even do bar charts and pie charts. There's really no end to the different things that this software can do for you in the note-taking arena. Maybe you're taking an online course and you wanna copy all the really important information from a website so that you can reference it later. I'll show you what I mean. So we're gonna hit a new note here. We're gonna paste the content that I copied from a webpage straight into here. I didn't have to copy the code. I didn't have to copy any sort of HTML. I just copied the text from the site. It pulls the images for you. It keeps the formatting. And so now you have a backed up copy of a website without having to ever worry about if it's accessible or not. This is awesome if you're taking online courses. Believe me, I've used it plenty of times. Another thing that it has, it has a WYSIWYG editor built into it. WYSIWYG stands for what you see is what you get. What that can do for you is that maybe I don't want this to be bullet points. You can change any of the formatting of the text that's on this page. Maybe you just want to add a table. Very easy to do. Trillium Notes is also actively maintained. So you don't have to worry about this becoming one of those pieces of software that no longer has any support and no community behind it. Its community is amazing. There are also third-party themes and plugins, as well as scripts, that you can import into the software. If we go under options up here at the top, the system backs up itself daily, weekly, or monthly, however often is up to you, or we can also run a manual backup. But what if you have two Trillium servers, maybe one that you have at your house and another one you host on the cloud? They've got you covered here too, man. They can sync between servers. So if you have two Trillium servers, they're gonna communicate with each other and your nodes are gonna be the same no matter what server you're on. There's also shortcut keys, appearance, you can change themes here, all sorts of different things. It is a single user application, which means you're not gonna be able to create user accounts for your friends and family to access your notes. If you do need to share your notes, they do give you the option of clicking share on any of the notes you've created, and it generates a publicly accessible site for you. I think you're really going to enjoy this software. 
but if after using it for a little while you absolutely hate it, you can't stand it, you need to get away, that's okay. They're not going to lock you in and hold your data hostage. Trillium gives you the option of exporting everything that's in your notes to either HTML in a zip archive or as Markdown. This can easily be used to import your data into another platform. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to go ahead and get this thing installed. Let's jump over to our portainer and let's get this guy up and going on our own server. So the very first thing that we need to do is to go ahead and set up our subdomain. I think notes.sinhow.com is perfect. Let's go ahead and add our A record. I'm going to create it here. I'm going to type in notes. I'm going to use the same IP address as my server, and I'm going to go ahead and save that. I want to let that sit for a little bit. Now let's go ahead and jump over to Portainer and get our Docker container set up. We go to Portainer. We have our Nginx and our Portainer already set up. Now we need to know how are we going to set up Trillium Notes. Let's jump over to Google. Let's type in Trillium Notes. And I'm going to be looking for our GitHub. If we scroll down a little bit, we can see there is a Docker. There is a Docker file for this. But let's see if we can find out exactly what we need to install this Docker image. I don't see anything on here. Let's check out the documents page. And we see one of the very first things is our server installation. Let's click on that guy. All right, we're in our Docker server installation. I'm going to scroll past a lot of these things all the way down to the very bottom where it has our very basic installation. We took a look at the command line before for Docker, but we're going to be using Portainer. So let's let's take a look at this and add it into our Portainer. All right, you see we need to be listing on port 8080, but that's not really accurate because we're going to be using Nginx Proxy Manager and filtering all that traffic so we can use our subdomain. The only thing I really need to pay attention to here is my volume. Trillium data needs to point to this folder on the container, this guy right, right here. Let's jump over to our portainer. I'm going to copy this little guy right here, but I am going to come back for this last line as well. It's best practice to pretty much put everything on its own network with the Docker. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a network for this guy. I'm going to call him Trillium Notes. I'm going to specify a subnet of 172.10.10.0 24. I'm going to create this network. All right, we got Trillium created. Now I'm going to create a volume so that my data lives outside of my container. So in case I need to update it, my data is going to be safe. Go to volumes, add, and Trillium dash notes. Create volume. All right, we're ready to go. Let's go to our containers now. Let's add our container. I'm going to call him, you guessed it, Trillium notes. I am going to need my image, but I'm going to come back for that guy. Let's go ahead and specify our volume down here at the bottom. We're going to add an additional volume. We're going to paste that text that we copied. This is the folder that's going to be on the container. And we're going to select our volume, which is Trillium Notes. Now let's go back to our other tab. Let's grab this where the repository is going to be on Docker Hub. I'm going to paste this right here. And at the very end, you may have noticed it said specify a version, but I don't want to specify a version. I just want to get the latest one whenever they come out. So I'm going to type in latest. Last step, let's go ahead and make sure that our container is in the right network. Right now it's in the default of bridge. I'm going to put this guy into our Trillium Notes network. Let's deploy. We are good to go. We got the green checkbox. We got Trillium Notes starting in the background here. We can click on our logs to see the process of the boot. See that it looks like it's all done. It's listening on port 8080. We go back to containers. Remember, we didn't publish any ports because we are going to filter all of our traffic through Nginx Proxy Manager. Let's click on our Nginx Proxy Manager and make sure that he is joined to the Trillium Notes network. So we scroll all the way to the bottom. We can see that he's not on that network yet, but let's drop this down select Trillium Notes and join this network. That way he can access the IP address and forward all of the information to the port. Let's go to our Nginx Proxy Manager and let's set up our proxy host. Our domain that we chose was notes.sinhow.com. Got him added. We need to forward the traffic to the container's IP address. We'll pick that up. 
back here. Copy the IP address. Remember the port number, 8080. All right. We want to also block common exploits. And for Trillium notes to work really well, we also have to allow WebSocket support. Let's go ahead and save this guy. We can see it's HTTP only. I don't feel super comfortable about sending my notes over unsecured ports. Let's go ahead and add an SSL certificate so that our traffic is encrypted. Edit this guy, go over to SSL, drop this down. I want to request a new SSL. I'm going to force that to always use HTTPS encrypted traffic. I'm going to agree to the terms of service and I'm going to save this guy. After a little bit of time, we can see we are now encrypted with HTTPS through Let's Encrypt. Let's click on notes.senhow.com. Now we need to choose our option here. Do we already have a server running or is this our very first one? It's the very first one for this server. So let's go ahead and click a new user and we'll go next. It's now asking you to establish a password. Remember there is no username. Set our password and now let's sign in. And here we go, we're ready to go. It did give you some sample data to play around with. So if you wanna jump in here, you wanna start doing some equations, you're more than welcome to. Or if you wanna start from scratch and not have to worry about any of this stuff in here, simply highlight over the very top of this tree, hit the delete button, hit okay. You can also rename the very top of this tree as well. That was a pretty easy process, right? If you have any questions or comments, hey, please leave them down below. Otherwise, I hope you really enjoyed Trillium Notes and find it as valuable as I have over the years. Lastly, I do want to thank Zatom for giving us this amazing application and making it open source. If you'd like to send a special thanks, please feel free to support him through PayPal or Bitcoin. Hope you found this video informative and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.